everyone, this is Maria from telehealthspecialist.com. I want to talk today about adding text boxes, images, and buttons on Boom cards. So let's go to their home page. After you've signed in, you're going to click on the word studio up here on the right. Then you're going to go ahead and scroll down and click on make decks. After that, you're going to click on new deck. And this is where you're going to start building your first slide. So let's add a text box. You click on the icon that has a T and has the word text on it and you drag it right onto your screen. I'm going to go ahead and type a question. And now I want to center this. So what I'll do is I'll click on it. Over here on the right, we're going to click on center and then we're going to click on horizontal and now it's aligned. Now let's go ahead and insert an image just like the text box. What you're going to do is click on image and drag it onto your screen. This will pop up and just scroll and pick the image that you would like to insert. Let's insert this cat. I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller. And I want to make sure it's aligned. So I'll again go to the area that says center, click on horizontal, and now it's perfectly aligned with our text box. Now let's go ahead and add a couple of buttons. You click on button, you drag it onto your screen. I'll go ahead and add another button. And I want to make them aligned, so I will click on both of them. I'll click align, and I want to align to the top so that they're both on the same line. You'll notice both, both of these buttons are outlined by a green line, and that is because by default they are designated to be the correct answer. You can change that in your answer options menu on the upper right here. So let's click on the button here on the right, and let's make that the wrong answer. Now let's modify the text in these boxes. We need to adjust the size on this box, so we're going to go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger. And now if the student clicks on this one, they'll get the answer correct. If they click on this one, they'll get the answer incorrect. Another thing you can do is create drag and drop answer options. So what you want to do then is use your drag and drop options menu here. So let's go ahead and add another image. This time let's add this cute little dog. Now let's make sure that we can see that here on the screen. Make it a little bit smaller down here. And I would like to add another image, but I want that second image that I add to be the same size as the little dog I have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this image. So here on the menu on the right side where it says copy delete, you're going to click on duplicate. And now you have two of the same. Let's put it over here. And if you double click on this image, you will get your image library. And you can select an image to insert. Now I want to make these draggable buttons. So I'm going to click on both of them. In your drag and drop app options menu, you're going to click draggable. 
these are the pictures that are going to be your answer choices. We need to put these somewhere. We need a drop zone. We need to give them a place where they belong. So we're going to click on this big image here. And we're going to designate this image to be a drop zone. So in your drag and drop options, you're going to click on the flag icon and the word that says drop zone. And you'll see a little flag pop up. That means this is the area where you want your students to drag and drop into. Now, we still have to tell it which one is the correct answer to drop into the image. So say you're doing a matching activity and you want them to match the pictures, then you would want to make sure that this is the right answer. So what you do is you click on the little hand and you drag that hand and you drop it into the flag. And now you have told them that this is the right answer that goes in here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our work. Let's go to preview. Let's click on gray and white. Let's drag our picture into the drop zone and let's click submit. And we got it correct. And that is how you add text boxes, buttons, and drag and drop zones on Boom Cards. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on more useful videos. If you're looking for more information about teletherapy, check us out at telehealthspecialists.com.